Hey guys, it is General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? Uh, today, we are going to revisit uh, something in Halo 1, and that is driving the Wraith as an elite. Because normally, you cannot drive the Wraith as a Spartan for numerous reasons. So, the only way to drive a Wraith in Halo 1 is to be an elite. And a lot of you have been asking for this video for quite a while. Um, I figured that a lot of people try it by themselves, but uh, I guess you guys still wanted to see what it looks like on video, so without further ado, here we go. So we're on a mission, Assault in the Control Room, and at this part there's an Elite running towards a Wraith there, and well, using a dev trainer that I have, I have frozen time so that I can catch up to the Elite. But as you can see here, can't drive the Wraith, but this is the Elite that runs to the Wraith. And I'm going to unfreeze time and use the uh, bump possession cheat on the dev trainer to take over the elite. And as you can see, I'm now playing as the elite instead of Master Chief. And if I approach the Wraith, I instantly get inside the Wraith. Basically, that elite is scripted to get inside the Wraith, and you can't, you don't, you can't really resist that uh, without walking away from it. But once you approach it, you automatically get in. It's kind of like with the Sword Elite. If you stand too close to a Spartan, to yourself, you will automatically melee um, Master Chief. But as you can see there, um, if you saw that closely enough, there is the uh, the prompt to get inside the Wraith. It said hold E to, to uh, enter driver's seat of Wraith or something like that. Uh, which is interesting that there will be like a, a, a string or the the prompt to get inside the wraith, uh, which probably means that at one point uh, Bungie is planning to make the wraith drivable to the players, because otherwise, you know, if it's if it's something that only the AI can use, then there'd be no point in adding that string there. And there are like weapons in the game um, that if you try to uh, if you bring out by modding that you're not normally supposed to have, it will say like. Um, insert string here or something like like hold E to insert string here like if you remember my uh, video about driving the halo ring that that's one example the, the halo ring on pillar of autumn was a uh, vehicle but if you try to drive it, it it doesn't say like hold E to drive halo ring it says hold E to drive insert string here or something like that but anyway so this is the wraith and the wraith it pretty much performs like a ghost just a lot slower it can even pop wheelies like a ghost <laughs> when you hold down the jump button, and it it, it does a really like big wheelie actually. Uh, so the Wraith's a pretty cool vehicle to drive in Halo One. It's um, I don't know if it's better than the newer Wraiths in Halo Two and Three, but it's actually still a pretty good vehicle. And uh, what's interesting is uh, they uh, they gave the Wraith the crosshairs of the Wraith, the reticle. It's um. It's the same one that's used for the rocket launcher, the Spanker rocket launcher. Uh, other than that, there's not only thing else about the Wraith. The, the Wraith, it doesn't climb hills very well. As you can see, it's kind of struggling to climb this small hill here. Uh, but it's uh, it'll make it eventually. As long as the hill's not too high, it can climb it. And it helps to hold down the uh, jump button to uh, do like a wheelie sort of thing. Another downside to the Wraith is uh, it's when you fire the main cannon, the mortar, it, it arcs a lot. Even if you point straight down and your crosshair show red on the enemy, it it'll pretty much fly over them. You gotta like back up and shoot from a long distance. So it's I guess in this case the newer rates are better because you can uh, they're, they're better for like medium and short range compared to the Halo One wraith. Another thing to notice is when you're in the wraith, there's no vehicle health and your health bar doesn't show up either. So you can't tell how much health the Wraith has left, but you can see it's already damaged a bit. Uh, but let me uh, blow it up just to show you that you, you can't, you really can't tell any difference. But there you go. So just blew myself up there. Uh, the Wraith is also pretty hard to flip over. I tried to flip it over a few times to see if I can get back out, but I can't. Uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning that once you get inside the Wraith as an elite, you cannot get back out. You're pretty much stuck in it. And like I said, I haven't been able to flip the Wraith. It's pretty hard to flip. It's uh, it's kind of like flipping the elephant in Halo 3 without the use of forge or explosives. But yeah, so that's uh, basically it. That's what the Wraith looks like when you drive it. And like I said, you can only drive it as an elite 
And of course, you can only play as an elite if you use uh, cheat codes or a trainer. Um, the cheat codes as in console commands or a dev trainer. But anyway, so I hope you guys did find that to be interesting. And if you did, uh, make sure to leave a like. And as always, if you have anything else you want to check out, any games or other stuff, just let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to get to it. And other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.